Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shifra. So in this video, we're going to be talking about discussing quiet luxury, the understated luxury, the luxury that is, some would say, generational, that is, um, hmm, old money. I would say quiet luxury is the type of luxury that isn't logo mania, <laughs> um, isn't you know too obvious to the eye. Um, it's quiet because there are understated elements and elegance to it, and it's cheap as well, and and it's like minimal, you know, as well when it comes to quiet luxury. Quiet luxury is the luxury that you know if you have an eye for um, luxury pieces luxury fashion houses, the brands, their um, uh, craftsmanship, some of their unique styles and unique pieces. This is the type of luxury that you'll be able to identify it um, quietly um, without having to see like the name of the brand written out. <laughs> a lot of people describe quite luxury as you know, when you're in a room with people and you know, you see and you notice and you understand this is from there, this is from that. And it kind of just boosts their status in a sense without being loud about it. And I think a lot of people like that about quiet luxury. And it's been like a hot topic lately. You know, it's not the type of luxury that is easy to find or it's, it's, it's more exclusive. Maybe that's a good way to describe it. It's more exclusive um, when it comes to quiet luxury. And it's like basically like new money versus old money if you look at it that way as well. It's kind of a way for I guess some people to dist distinguish themselves and are not trying to be overtly loud with their money but just be quiet yet powerful. Alright so I hope that opening statement, those words, everything I said kind of helps you guys understand what quiet luxury is. Some of the brands that are really, you know, hot topics right now and are really, the brands that you would embody when you're trying to do a little bit more of the quiet luxury thing. I think top of the list for everyone is The Row, founded by Mary Kay Nashley. The Row, very expensive, <laughs> but at the same time, they have these unique pieces, unique style, modern, chic, minimal, and just elegant. So I think the role is definitely a good brand if you're trying to understand better. I would also say Celine, Max Mara, uh, Kate as well, uh, Ralph Lauren. So from those brands, I think you guys can kind of visualize and like get a better understanding of what quiet luxury kind of embodies and presents, like how it presents itself. I think the thing with quiet luxury to be careful about and that can be tricky is that some people think quiet luxury is luxury that is, hmm, let me see how I'm gonna phrase this. Okay, so luxury brands and luxury pieces are a little bit, I don't wanna say they're easier to obtain, I don't wanna say the prices are not as high to signify that, you know, they're, luxurious things or exclusive. I think, okay, luxury is not as exclusive as it was back in the day. Maybe that's a good way to put it. And so with the topic of quiet luxury, and quiet luxury has always been around. It has always been around. So this isn't a new concept. This isn't, no, this is like old money. This is like generational wealth. This is like the wealthy, wealthy, wealthy people. This is how they do it. They do quiet luxury. This is not a new thing. I think it's just a hot topic right now. Um, people are just like hopping on and really discussing it. I think um, the younger generations, uh, people who didn't really understand um, why sometimes you would see people who are like billionaires and yet they stress so like, you know, relaxed and low-key versus people who, you know, maybe they just came into money, new money, and they're a little bit louder um, <laughs> with their uh, luxury. <laughs> the tricky thing is, is to not make quiet luxury come off as 
better than when it comes to people who are still into luxury and who still buy luxury and wear luxury, but are a little bit louder, a little bit more out there, a little bit more statement-y, and are okay with logos. I think that's the tricky part of it, is that some people can see quiet luxury as just another way to divide and add more exclusivity and kind of be like, oh, you, you're buying luxury, you're buying designer, but mm, are you buying this one that's like, you know, more paired back? And the ones that are more paired back are the ones that that, that price tag is up there. So I think it's just another way to add another layer of depth. And I think sometimes people are just like, you know, when, when will you be accepted? You know, I, I can see that being a question. When will I be accepted? I, I'm buying luxury, but now I'm, I'm not buying the right luxury. Or like, I'm tacky. So I think that's, that's a good word, tacky. Some people might be like, oh, you're just literally saying <laughs> the new, new money or people who are a little bit louder are tacky. And I think my opinion when it comes to quiet luxury is just like, it's a style preference. You know what I mean? It's how you like to style lu your luxury, how you like to place your brands. Sometimes some people who are like, you know, very elegant, very stylish, their sense of, you know, like, you know, style is a little bit more out, you know, and loud and is in the quiet luxury. So I think this is a hot topic because now you have some people who are like kind of raising their nose in a sense and being like it's quiet luxury or nothing you know and it's like they're looking down on people who are you know buying luxury and designer things but have maybe a logo or are a little bit more out there so i think it's just something to be nice about <laughs> if you're more of a quiet luxury person compared to someone who's not and i just wanted to you know put this video together just to discuss quiet luxury and i feel like more of a you know wedge is coming between people when it comes to the luxury market and like i said quiet luxury has been around for a while but now it's loud <laughs> as in like people are hearing it more and understanding it more i think people didn't understand it as much as they do now and i used to think it's right to like you know, be like, you need to be having quiet luxury. Because um, sometimes I feel like some people are pushing it a little too much to the point that's like, you know, if someone's not a quiet luxury person, then they're not a quiet luxury person. And there's nothing wrong with that. In one sense of, you know, luxury is not better than the other. I think they both have their pros and their cons if you're a little bit more out there with your luxury compared to being a little bit more pulled back. But, you know, new money, old money, generation wealth, all that stuff. And I think with human nature, everyone's always trying to start something. <laughs> but um, so Kate, Thoreau, Celine, Max Mara, like brands like that are like a little bit more quiet luxury. And the color palette is not as wide <laughs> as far as, you know, colors. It's a little bit more on the neutral side and a little bit more on the basic side. So that's why I'm kind of like, hey, everyone has their own cup of tea. But let me know, like, how do you guys feel about this whole quiet luxury thing and how like having a logo, having something uh, signifying like clearly like, oh, this is from uh, Gucci or uh, Prada is like not the way to go. Uh, me, I think I'm, hmm, I feel like I am like a mix of both quiet luxury and luxury that's a little bit more out there but leaning a little bit more towards maybe quiet luxury I feel like I am but I don't want to label myself I feel like everyone can be in whatever box they want to be or not be in a box at all because there is no box do I think uh, brands are going to move a little bit more towards quiet luxury I definitely think so that there have been some brands that are already doing it like for example let's say um, We'll take up Netta, we could say Gucci a little bit too. They've kind of like, you know, dipped back themselves on how they approach their, you know, way of telling a story with their clothes and not being as out there or like with their products either. So I do think some, you know, uh, brands are definitely going to go a little bit more towards quiet luxury. And I feel like even though quiet luxury is here to like stay and has always been around, I feel like it's at a trend point right now with like the hype. 
if that makes any sense. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a better understanding of quiet luxury and also your feelings on it too. And like I said, let's not look at anyone differently or look down on people if they choose to express themselves a little louder compared to others. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time watching, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos. And also please make sure to hit the like button as well. Bye.